original jungle is. Man a lion in this. Are you ready for this? Getting a taxi selfie. Big up. Yeah. I think that's a good end. Oh, it's blurry. It's blurry, man. It's what blurry. happened? So I'm joined in the back of the tipping taxi with Congo Natty. Yes. How are you doing, darling? You've just come off the hell stage. How was that? Was you? it the hell stage? Yeah, the hell stage. Well, class. well you know what? We went to Zion. <laughs> Amsterdam, where in the world is your favourite place to be? My favourite place, right, is amongst my family. You know, like when you're with your youths and you know the queen and this that one. And also, when I'm with the massive, the junglers. Because when we're in a dance, we become family. So it doesn't matter where in the world you are, nah, as long as you're surrounded nah, by the family. The love, yeah, the love. It's the love, really, sister. Totally. Let's chat a little bit about sort of the history of your music because your music has kind of inspired, well, kind of has inspired the entire sort of underground bass music scene in the UK today. How does that feel? I'm telling you, right, that it's a special blessing and an honor to say that. Yeah, because music for us, we always looking up to musicians, so we're always looking up to people like Bob Marley, we're looking up to Jimmy Hayes. Even in um, another sphere, we're looking up to Bruce Sleep. So we're looking up to people that have always inspired us to do what we're doing. And then in this time now, it's like the UK has got a special thing for the world. Right in 2014. <laughs> We're honoured when we get invited to play at any festival because we're coming from Tottenham and it was a time when no one knew us, no one was inviting us anywhere. This revolution has brought us to the point now where we're going to do Boom Town. It should be a very special event in this morning, August. Yeah. Think, yeah, I'll definitely be there. Yeah, by the will of Jah, we pray, you know, because the thing is, sister, life is not guaranteed, right? You know, we're here and we always say, yeah, I'll see you next week or I'll see you two weeks time, but we don't know. That's true. You see? And one of my cousins, his name's Darren, passed, you know, last week. Oh, right? And he was, the last time I saw him was in a dance, in a rave. We were raving in Leeds and we had a brilliant night. He was having a heavy session uh, at a place called Jungle Jam. And he was, I got him in because he couldn't get in the dance. He was like, crammed out. I got him in with me. I said, he's a VIP that night. And then I've got the news that he's left the world. Mysterious circumstances. So life's not guaranteed. So we're just taking every day as a blessing, living in the moment, what's happening like today. You know, we're giving thanks and praise. We're here now in the afternoon, spreading love. You know what I mean? It's amazing that you come to a place like Glastonbury and you get a chance to sort of still play and still be positive and spread this positivity. Yeah, definitely. That's a blessing. Special. Yeah, man, it's a blessing. And uh, do you are performing today with friends on stage? So who are these friends you had up there with you? Well, I'd say they're, they're family. Okay. For them, friends. Uh, you know, friends is good, but family is even better. You know what I mean? So it's a musical family. Thank you. One love sister. I love that. Love this, yeah. Hi. Yes, hi. 